Okay, so this is where I pray, and I'm back up here again today. What a week! Oh my God, it was so amazing. So I'm going to babble. Sorry, Wally. So while people are out there celebrating or protesting, and either's good, I'm praying. Yes, praying in the week that was. And it was an amazing, amazing week. I think it all kind of went down. I started a new job at Nat Geo a week ago on Thursday. And so I was trying to get into the balancing act and back in the groove and out of Oahu. And then all of a sudden, while I'm auditioning and while I'm getting cast in something I didn't know what it was, uh, I get phone calls, uh, missed the call sheet, and was supposed to be on set last Sunday. So it was a blur. And I can't wait for you guys to see Chatterbox when it comes out. What a phenomenal cast and crew, the most talented people. I felt like I was at General Hospital or in ER when we're doing the tracking shots down the hallway and action and then there's dialogue and the DP and the camera guy are like under the gurney and the lead is laying on the gurney and I'm working with the nurse who I totally, totally adore. Like I was so intimidated with her day one. I was like, oh my God, she's probably so talented and I'm probably an idiot. But we had so much fun on set for three freaking days. Three days! Oh my God. And I'm like, where has this world been? Like, I've obviously missed it, you know? And I watched these kids who knew their job so well and did their job so amazingly, and I got to play, and then I had to pray. Because I was like, oh my God, I just started a job. What am I going to do? Reverend Della would tell me, you can't say you're sick because you can't claim you're sick because that's a lie, but I couldn't go to work. So I told them the truth. And um, I got through my work, and then I showed up at 6 o'clock after we were shooting for the third day on the final wrap day for the pilot, which is most definitely probably going straight to series. There are, what, four episodes written already, and the scenes that I did for my callback with the director, who I didn't know she was the director, um, they weren't in the pilot, so that means I have more stuff to do later on. So it's been an amazing, amazing week, but I went straight into the office, and um, anyway, what ended up happening is, uh, is I ended up doing a blur list till 11 o'clock at night and prayed that I would still have a job that they wouldn't kill me. And they didn't. I just said, I just want to be transparent. I just want to be honest. This is what happened. So it's been a great week. And then, of course, today, uh, I come up to my hill. I get to do my walk because I'm still three pounds heavier from Oahu. But I'm enjoying it. So, you know, I'm going to keep it. Uh, so, or, no, I'm not going to keep it. That's a lie. Let me lie. Uh, but I am going to get back to exercising. So, and I also get the mental stimulation. But I had my second of my three classes on Scientific Christian with Emma Curtis Hopkins and Reverend Sedare out of New York. Uh, amazing, amazing class. And we're already prepping for Hebrew Scriptures, which starts on the 11th of February. Ordered the book, and believe it or not, Amazon delivers daily. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how it works. Is there a drone that's going to come to my house and drop off this book? But I ordered it. And then we had our weekly prayer claim call, two years running, and one day before my 20th anniversary at Upchurch, which is phenomenally amazing. And I am teacher on podium, but thank God to Dana Keel, who's my partner in teaching uh, at Up, meaning that we're studying together in this journey. And I was asking questions during the call, and I said, Dana will tell us when we open it up. And one of them was, what does rock mean? Because there are rocks coming off of mountains here in California right now because of the rain. And so she goes into Peter and Petros and Faith, and I go, uh-oh. That's what I'm supposed to be talking about at church tomorrow because that is the spiritual idea of the month. So, if you want to join us, I know that uh, Reverend Sherry is at Sundance. Hello. Uh, And uh, Reverend Cherie will be on podium. So, it'll be me and Reverend Cherie. And um, it's just been an amazing, phenomenal week. Like, so many things happened. Getting to uh, my website, which has been down for six months, is now back up and running. And I updated it. And then I said, well, if you can update that, then you better start working on LinkedIn because that looks like a hot ghetto mess. So I started cleaning that up. And I'm just doing all those little things in life to prepare for what is coming next. So um, I know everybody's out marching or whatever they're doing. So you might see that some date in the later future. But just know that we are being uplifted and prayerful here in Los Angeles, celebrating this wonderful, glorious day where it is not raining today, that our drought is ending, that uh, life is ever evolving and life is ever changing. And I've come to the mountaintop to pray and to place into the divine what it is that I want for my life. 
and you can do the same. You know, don't judge by the appearances. Don't worry. That's what we learned on the prayer claim call today. And, um, you know, because you get to choose the life that you're going to live and live the life you want to live right now. So I called for the chatterbox. That was so exciting. I had a great time. And in fact, I just found out walking up the hill because I finally get a chance to check my, you know, messages and emails that uh, because I've also been getting active on the acting websites again. So meaning that um, like, you know, the upcoming shows that are slated for the spring all over the country and also the localized ones because I've been off backstage for easily six months not doing anything that I'm up for the lead in the show at a great venue, so I'm very excited. That audition is like next month. It's like way down the, in, the, in the yonder. So like we're already planting all those amazing scenes. So Miss Melissa, I'm just gonna say, cause I know you're watching. So every time I see you guys are posting and doing something, like I'm always like, oh my God, I wish I was there. Cause I would so run in and have a great time with you guys. So have fun, have a drink on me tonight. Uh, continue to celebrate life, have fun because the only time you have is now. And tomorrow at one o'clock, which is four o'clock East Coast time, just know, hey Marina, you know Marina, I'm going to tell you something really funny. I almost came to you because where we were shooting was across the street from your church. So that museum that is across the street from your church, I was going to come on a lunch break and just show up as the good old Dr. Echo Hawk or whatever his name is. So anyway, God bless you all. Stay in the light. Don't judge by appearances. Know that and I know, and I learned this at Attitudes when we were there the first year. I told to an intern of mine uh, who, you know, kind of followed me in the business. I said to him, nothing has changed from today to yesterday. God is still the same. So God can, God will. I'm going to go pray. Have a really great Saturday. And just know that all the potentiality lies here within you. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do right now. God bless you. Stay in the light and have a great week. And uh, I'll keep you posted, probably on Saturdays. God bless you.